Just found this in the alley. I'm gonna blow it off a little bit here. This one too. This is not that old. Well, what a treat. This is, with some very limited research and time spent, this is early 1950s Toro Sport Lawn. Oil Mobile Arctic SAE 20 Fuel Mobile Gas. Um, it's had a hard life. I found this uh, and the edger, which I'll get to in another video right here in the neighborhood in an alley they were cleaning out a garage um, and this part of town is pretty old most of the houses here were built in the 1920s I would say that the age range this area was built up between about 1910 and 1930 so this had probably been sitting in somebody's garage for years and years and years probably since the late 60s, early 70s. I love these uh, oil, and this belt is as hard as a rock. It's got the oilers here. I think there was probably an oiler or a zerk there. This is free. The, um, of course I blew it all off. The muffler's rotten. There is no compression at all, which by the looks of this, I have a feeling it's probably a stuck valve. No compression whatsoever. Look at that Briggs and Stratton that's completely faded away. The other thing that I'm... A little bit concerned about that we need to check is the magnet on the flywheel The the magnet there's points in the middle and a magnet and a coil and that's what makes the spark when the when the magnet passes a coil and the points close or open I forget it pops the coil and makes a spark the permanent magnets on those flywheels go dead I've seen it before Uh, let's see, what else can I say about it? It's a Briggs & Stratton engine model 5S. Oil bath air cleaner. Yeah, these are kind of cool. They have like you fill the bottom part up with oil and then there's like maybe a it's like a horse hair thing. Of course, these are frozen, which is unfortunate. One of them is a throttle, and the other one I believe moves this in and out to engage the clutch. 
the reel is frozen, but we could probably break that loose. I would like to diagnose the engine first. Cast iron Briggs and Stratton. So probably what we'll do is check for spark first. Then pull the cylinder head and see what the valves are doing. It's a four cycle engine. This is probably, oh yeah, varnish. Oh wow, there's actually some liquid down in there. Oh yeah, pure varnish. This is the old school gas before it was 90% propane, butane, and alcohol, ethanol. Also sitting with it was a bag of Bandini blood meal. Doesn't that sound appetizing? I wonder how old this is. I wonder if this is even legal anymore. Ooh, it's red. like granulated rust. Hmm, has an interesting odor mixed with that old gasoline. And the tires, someone had purchased a new set of tires for this thing. And they are so old, they are hard as a rock. I mean, I know they're supposed to be hard, but anyway, uh, maybe I get a drill, check the oil, I'll pull the spark plug, put a little oil down in the cylinder, um, and we'll spin this thing and see if we get spark. This could be scary. Yeah, well, ooh, look at that. Mix a little bit of that with that blood meal. Ooh, tasty. So it's not empty. It's not what I would consider full either. And it definitely needs to be changed before operating the engine. It, it, oil is an organic compound that does kind of go bad with age. And this oil in here could be 50 years old. This is one of those things where you don't know if they parked it because it quit running or if they parked it one winter and then died. Actually, we park lawnmowers in the summer out here, pretty much, usually. What the hell is the, is the uh, piston moving up and down? Yes, it is. Okay. Don't want to scratch the cylinder walls of this beautiful. So I'm going to squirt a little oil down in there. And we'll see if we could spin this with the drill and get a spark. Okay, here we go. I think we got some 10W30 here. I don't know how much I want to put in there. I don't want to like fill it up, fill it up. But let's see. Oh, yeah. Sure, the camshaft is dry and rusty and grinding, too, but there's not a whole lot I could do about that. Maybe tip the lawnmower over 
and uh, I'm not going to worry about it. Okay, this is one of those things where if we can't resurrect it, it's no loss, right? Because it was free. Oh crap! The camera frame rate might not be catching it, but there's a nice spark there. Nice spark. Beautiful. The carburetor is going to be all gummed up, but that's fairly easy to clean. I got lemon juice. I got lemon juice dissolves that uh, varnish crap. I got a lemon tree here, so I just get to squeeze it and we'll get this thing all cleaned out. There's nothing to this. Probably the pickup under the that goes from the bottom of the tank to the jet here is plugged and maybe the jet. Easy to clean this thing out. And then we'll just put lemon juice in the tank and let it sit and it'll just burn all that uh, varnish out of there. But let me pop the cylinder head. Let's see why there's no compression. How much crap is in here? Not too much. Okay, uh, let's. Oh, I, I, I really want to try and not. It would be nice to be able to reuse the gasket because. Yeah, of course, the gasket's coming off. Come on, baby. Work with me. I, I could get this off with two hands. Look at that tiny little piston. So this is intake. Compression. That's compression. That's fire. Top dead center right there, fire. And then this would be exhaust. Maybe the problem is the exhaust valve is not closing all the way. Yeah, that's it. The exhaust valve is not closing all the way. It's probably a carbon issue or or something let me work with that okay so the exhaust valve is not closing all the way that's why the the lift I want to see if I can rotate this you know what why don't I just bang on it with a hammer isn't that what everybody else would do I squirted some oil in there and let it sit and it looks like it's working now. Could probably do the intake too, but I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to start it on propane. I'll just take this off and we'll get it going on propane. Um, shouldn't be too hard just to get it to run I'll, I'll fill this with oil I'll tilt it back and I'll because it's leaning forward so it doesn't have much oil in it now this uses like a little dip so once we get it running it'll it'll oil the whole thing look at the carbon in this you don't get carbon like this anymore uh, with California gas because like I said it's even if you run a car rich or run an engine rich you don't get carbon like this because uh, the new formulation of gas has uh, a lot of propane and butane a lot of light hydrocarbons and dissolved in it to where uh, you don't get thick carbon like this Mmm, tasty. 
All right, I've, the gasket is really baked on back here where it gets hot, the exhaust. And I'm not one of these meticulous clean freaks that really cares about this. I just don't want so much carbon in there that it is absorbing all the gasoline into the carbon and won't run. So I, I think I got it. I think I got it cleaned up pretty good here. Um, you know, I'm going to use this thing to mow the yard. I'm, I'm not going to, it's not a pretty thing for me. So yeah, it feels like the valves are closing. When I start, if it starts, I'm going to get a bunch of smoke because I filled this with oil. So it's going to blow oil out the muffler. Okay, I think we have some compression now, not much. <laughs> yeah, not much. But maybe I get, let me put some motor oil in it. Maybe I could get it to run at least. Uh, if I could get it to start and force oil up through it, we could see what's going on. I put like a half a quart in the crankcase. I tilted it back. Uh, I'm going to lubricate this one here. Isn't this fun? You know, even if it won't start, it's still, oh, it's still an interesting look into the past, you know. So I believe this, great, now that's going to just spray oil all over the place if it starts. interesting look into the past if nothing else I was impressed with the carbon I mean look at this that's a that's a gift for an environmentalist right there okay I got ear protection on because I hate this mechanical noise Yeah, there's suction there. So I'm gonna go with a little brake cleaner here. This seems kind of dangerous to me. Firing. It was firing. That should get it nice and moist. Come on, baby. I'm going to go get a uh, power drill. Also what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn the uh, idle screw in. Uh, it's, it's at idle. I can't really adjust the throttle open because the cable's frozen. But I'm going to open this up a, just a little bit like that. It'll probably start now. Let's, let's get the big boy here. something that runs on the line okay oh yeah this will this will I just I don't want to get hurt that's all make 
sure I'm rolling. I am. <laughs> what a difference. Imagine if you had to pull this damn thing by hand. I'm going to get the propane because I can spin it and slowly open the propane and propane is uh, dry so it won't foul out the plug. Okay, what I've got here is I've got just propane and I can use this to adjust the the amount of flow and I just got that right like that I hope enough of it goes in and not yeah, that looks a little bit better I just want the propane to go in the carburetor not out okay are we ready for smoke Very hard to get the mixture right. Boy, that's a delicate adjustment on the propane. Got to got to get some of that action right there. Okay, this is getting hot because the reel is frozen. I gotta try and break this reel loose. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Nice. Okay, this thing has a date with oil. Okay, I'm gonna just oil the hell out of this thing. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna, I don't know what lubricates these bearings down here unless it's this. So I'm gonna just start oiling this. I've oiled everything and it looks like these just oil the wheels because the oil just started running out of the wheel. Uh, I loosened, since the cable is frozen in here, I loosened the clamp so I can manually move this. Uh, this is real tight, the reel, but I, I believe that when I 
if I can apply enough force to it to get it spinning, it'll free up real quick. It's going to just spray out a, a thing of rust. Um, let's try it. I hope this is not self-propelled. Well, it's self-propelled. Okay, still tight. The nice thing about these mowers is they act like scissors, but I, this one seems like it's adjusted a little tight, but I think it'll loosen up. Um, yeah, so let me get those off so I can stop yelling. I think the next thing to do is to get it actually running on gasoline because, you know, propane you don't have any real throttle control. You're just at a fixed, fixed mixture. And then I, I think what needs to happen is this. That is such a, I can't believe that belt that's probably from 1950 is still good. Uh, yeah, getting getting these to work. I mean, how cool is that? These are your controls. That's your throttle, and that's your... So I think maybe oiling, because I'm sure it's rusted inside this thing. So I think oiling this and letting it sit, and maybe I can get it broken loose if I let it sit for a while. Okay. I got this one freed up. So, because I've been running it, I don't know if this will actually show, because I've been running it and it's been vibrating and this is hot from the exhaust running it on the propane, it's actually Oh, gross. So, here's my California carb certified gas can. Uh, I wonder if I put some in here and then slosh it around. I wonder if we could get this to run on gas. Nice. There are probably some things you should not show on camp. There are probably some things you should not show on camera. You should just be like, yeah, I cleaned the carburetor and it's running now. I think this pulls out of here. I don't know, some of these had a check valve in the bottom of them. I'm gonna try and uh, spray backwards, take the jet out. Here's the jet. Yeah, spraying carb spray in here, or brake cleaner, or whatever this. 50 state formula crap is I get nothing so I need to try and get that out of there and yeah it just pulls out and I think it's plugged solid um, let me figure out how to clean this that's polite 
I made the mistake of sucking on this and no, it's not plugged. Gas tastes as bad as it smells. Not plugged. Check out how fine this screen is that's on this thing. And it's not plugged here, so it should run on gas. This kind of, uh, yeah. Now it's a uh, race, a rice burner race uh, lawnmower. All right. The jet is back in. Please don't call AQMD. Oh God, that spill right there would constitute a hazmat cleanup emergency. Better get some super funds out here to deal with that epic hydrocarbon spill. All right, here we go. I am going to put on my ear pro. We got the uh, whatever this is. Make sure the camera's rolling. Really? One, two and a half. Might be flooded too, because I was, it could very well be flooded because I was spraying the cleaner through it. So let me dry it out. Oh my god, that has got to be loud without a muffler. I'm just letting it run and loosen up. Okay, we're pretty much ready to go here. It's just, this is too tight. The, I, I believe you loosen these two screws here and here, and then the, the stationary blade will slide back. Because, uh, I mean, the blade is hot because it's just too much friction. And I thought it would loosen up just by running it, but it's not wearing out quick enough. And, you know, there's no rust on it.
Okay, good. So, here's what happened, and I don't know why I didn't even think of this. The minute I hit grass, it lubricated the blade and it just took off and freed up like you wouldn't believe. Got a little storm blowing in here and I'm going to have to wrap things up because anyway, uh, I've run a whole tank of gas through it. I've been running it for about an hour. I think I'll drain the oil out right now. Um, I'm impressed. Uh, so what still needs to be done? Well, this thing is, I don't know if the bearing is gone in this. Um, I need to free up the throttle cable. I just kind of put it at a fixed without the governor. But yeah, it's, it's good and hot right now. I'm going to drain the oil out and then refill it. Uh, I'm impressed. I like it. It works well. It really works well. It's a workout though. It even even on a slow setting it still pulls your ass right down the lane. This should be some good stuff. Oh yeah. Yeah, let that drain for a while, then we'll refill it. Probably do this two or three times. I like this mower. I'm going to use it. I don't even think I'm going to bother to change those tires right away. Black. You know, I, I have some uh, old pins oil in a can. I might put that in here. Uh, even though you're not supposed to use old oil, but the old oil has a higher zinc content and I'm sure this was never made to low, uh, run on the modern low PPM zinc oil. Uh, there isn't actually much here but motor oil does get appropri appropriately recycled which means they take it and burn it in ships on international waters, right? Uh, do not throw motor, motor oil in the trash. That is ghetto. I guess I could have put that varnishy gas in my used oil container here, but anyway. See if we see any sparklies in here. Maybe not much. Maybe a little bit right there. Yeah, there's a little color in here. There, yes, there is definitely a little color in here. It's probably hard to see in the camera. But there is a little color in this pan. I think this thing is worthy. Now who has used one of these in the past 30 years? SAE 30. It's SECC. It's, uh, -E How old is that? Anyway, let's uh, breach this vintage and I need a church key, but I'm going to do it with a screwdriver. Okay, well this is turning into freaking catastrophe here because it is leaking from the bottom. But let's uh, see what we can do here. What a mess. It's a good thing I put cardboard down. I'm going to put the whole cord in there. I don't know how much it takes, but... About a quart sounds right. Man, this stuff is just thick compared to today's oil. Yeah, it's old. It's probably got some moisture in it. and But it has enough zinc in it. 
You know, this thing was designed to run on leaded gas. There's no such thing as 87 octane unleaded when this was built. Also, I got new mufflers. I'm not going to do it in this video, but what I'll do is uh, soak this with some penetrating oil and let it sit for a week or so. And then I'll put a new muffler on it. Um, fresh oil in it. Yeah, I overfilled it with oil. Well, that's okay. We know the valves are lubricated now. I also need to get one of these wood rollers. One of them's missing. Could probably just make them out of plastic on a lathe. Some plastic dowel. Um, imagine something like this today with all these open, spinning, dangerous areas that could just Nothing this unsafe could be sold today. The whole thing is just unsafe. It's just all open, spinning, sharp obstacles. And here's the muffler I got for it. This should uh, be a little bit better than the original. And it has the little... A deflector there so you can deflect the exhaust from blowing on your leg unfortunately this is made in China but this is what they offer so anyway uh, thanks for watching the resurrection of the early 1950s Toro motor <laughs>